an update on whether we're making any progress in this area and that as leaders uh, in the intelligence community, you would prioritize an effort that I think could make a real difference. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time. I thank the gentleman. Well, Director Clapper, uh, I said some really nice things about you right before you walked in. <clears throat> I think you should be able to get this done within 10 minutes. Cyber threats to U.S. national and economic security are increasing in frequency, scale, sophistication, and the severity of impact. And although we must be prepared for a large Armageddon-scale strike that would debilitate the entire U.S. infrastructure, that is not, it's not our belief that that's the most likely scenario. Rather, our primary concern are the low to moderate level cyber attacks from a variety of sources which will continue and probably expand. This imposes increasing costs, as you indicate, to our businesses, to U.S. economic competitiveness. Because of our heavy dependence on the Internet, nearly all information communications technology and IT networks and systems will be perpetually at risk. And every day, each of these centers and entities gets better and better at what they're charged to do individually. These cyber threats come from a range of actors, including nation states, which fall into, at least in my mind, two broad categories. Those with highly sophisticated cyber programs, most notably Russia and China. Those with lesser, lesser technical capabilities, but more nefarious intent, such as Iran or North Korea, who are also more aggressive and more, and more unpredictable. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee for the opportunity to talk to you today about this very important issue. 